Today we're going to go over how to use the conferencing calls on Canvas. So you'll want to make sure that when you log into Canvas, you go to the eDetail 2300 course and click conferences. That'll bring up all the conferences that you're able to join um, and we want to use the test today. So you'll click either start or join, making sure that you have either a microphone in your laptop or an external microphone. If you need an external microphone, you can borrow one from the TRC. So you want to join using the microphone and it'll go to your audio test. Um, this is where you'll just speak a few words, make sure that you can hear yourself and click yes. If you can't hear yourself, click no and it'll help take you to a troubleshooting website. Make sure if anything pops up and asks you to allow to use your microphone that you're clicking yes. You'll also get this record notification. This is important because this is how your TA is going to be able to grade your assignment. So when you're doing your group project, you'll want to make sure that your group leader clicks the start record button and cons confirms. So when you see this green check mark, that means that it's being recorded. Um, so you'll also see the green check mark because I'm using a microphone. If I wanted to use the webcam, which is not required for either assignment that you'll have for this class, um, you can click share webcam and that'll open up again. Um, click allow for any features that it asks you to allow. Here's your user panel. This will show you where um, who is logged into this conference call and this makes sure that you can um, make sure all of your group members are here before starting your whole presentation. I have a presentation tool button next to my name because I'm the presenter currently. Um, if during any time of your conference call you want to switch presenters, you can just click on the icon next to your name and you'll be able to become the presenter. Being the presenter just means that you have control of this center function right here. Um, this first page just kind of shows tutorial um, instructions, so you can go over that now, or you can look at it later um, at bigbluebutton.org slash videos. But basically the center function is just kind of a whiteboard. Um, so you have five different slides that you can use to just kind of draw or do text box, make shapes, do whatever you would like. You can also upload a file to your presentation. So make sure that whatever you would like to upload is a PDF. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll just open this one. And when you upload it to this presentation feature, um, it's normally pretty hard to read because it's fit to the presentation page and not actually fit to width. So you wanna make sure that you click the fit to width and that zooms in just so you can see a little better. If you'd like to zoom in even further, you can just drag um, and zoom in. So with this again, um, I can go ahead and I can draw shapes or write whatever I'd like to, to focus on. If you're not using this for your group project, you can simply click minimize and it'll just go into the corner um, and you can move other things around if it's annoying to you. You can always just click it and it'll come back. Um, so that's totally up to you. This other feature, um, chat, is really important because sometimes we run into technical problems. Say your speakers stop working or your microphone stops working or for whatever reason, maybe you're sick or something. Um, using the chat feature is really handy. So all you need to do is just type in this little panel and it will send it to all of the users who are on here. You do have the option, if you go into options, to do a private chat, but since this is a group project, I'd suggest against using that. If you're running into any issues with the big blue button, I would make sure that your browser is either Firefox or Chrome. Um, if you're getting any echoing sounds, try using a headset um, or some earbuds. And if you find that you guys are talking over each other and you can't figure out how to take turns easily, use this little hand raising button. So when I click it, it puts this little hand next to my name. And so that way your leadership discussion um, or your group leader can make sure that um, they're giving everyone a turn to speak. Um, when they want to put your hand down, they just need to click the button and it'll go away. Um, as I keep referring to, there's the equipment check and then there's also the group project. Your TA will either be asking you to join a group yourself or to assign, or they'll assign you to a group. If they ask you to join a group, um, you'll just go to the Canvas page again and on that left hand side for your ADTL 2300, you'll click people. And then you'll go to the view user groups and you'll join whatever group you'd like to participate in. 
Um, alternatively, if they assigned you to a group, then you'll just go to the course and group page and that's where you can see all the courses and groups that you've been assigned to. If you have any questions about that, make sure that you email your TA. Um, lastly, once you're done with your whole project, um, you'll want to have your group leader click the stop recording button and confirm. Um, and that just makes sure that your whole conference has been recorded for grading purposes. So all you'll need to do is click the logout button and confirm and then you are done with your project.